Welcome to the video on basic subtraction. Let's do a little bit of review of basic addition first. If I said 4 plus 3, what did this mean? 4 plus 3. What did that equal? Well, there were a couple of ways we could have viewed this. We could have said I had 4 of something. Let's say I had 4 circles, or I don't know, I had 4 lemons for, for breakfast. So. One, two, three, four lemons for breakfast. And let's say I had another three lemons for lunch. One, two, three. And so you could view four plus three as how many total lemons did I have? I'm adding three to four. So how many total did I have? What's well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I had a total of seven lemons. Another way we could have viewed that is we could have drawn our number line. And I'll draw it in yellow because we're, well, that's not wide enough. I'll draw it in yellow because we're talking about lemons. So let's say that's our number line. And if I start at the number, let me draw all of the numbers. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven. So you could view, you could think about this as, as saying, well, we're on the number line. We start at the number four, right? That's this number four, and we're adding three to it. So we'll increase along the number line by three. So we'll go one, two, three, and you end up at seven. So you could say, if I have four and I get three more, I get seven. Or if I increase four by three, I also get seven. So what's subtraction now? Because that's what this video is about. I shouldn't waste all of our time talking about addition. So let's take the example of 4 minus 3. What does that equal to? Let me switch colors just to keep things interesting. So what is 4 minus 3 equal to? Subtraction, or minus, is the opposite of addition. So in addition, you're, you're doing something more. You're adding. I don't want to use the word adding to define addition, but that's what you're doing. I had four lemons, and then I had three more. In subtraction, you're taking away. So this example, if I started with four lemons, let's say I had four lemons on a plate. If I'm subtracting three, if I'm saying minus three, instead of adding these three here and getting seven, I'm going to take three away. So maybe I'm eating them, or maybe I'm giving them to you for in exchange for watching these videos. So to take away 3 from this 4, let's say this one goes away, this one goes away, and this one goes away. How many lemons would we have left? Well, this is the only one that I haven't crossed out, so we would have one lemon left. One lemon left, and this would be the lemon that's left. Didn't have to be that one. I could have crossed out any of the 3. Another way to view that, let's draw the same lemon colored number line. Say that this is the number line right here. And I'll draw all the same numbers. So that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Of course, the number line keeps going. There's no largest number. You can imagine any any number that you can think of, I can think of one higher than that. So there is no largest number, so that's why we draw that arrow there. I could never draw the entire number line. But anyway, back to subtraction. So we're starting at four lemons, right? When we added three plus three, we went to the right four spaces on the number line. Now that's because the right is increasing value. So we went from four to five, that was one more, five to six was two more, and seven was three more. Now we're taking away from 4. So what do we do? What, what would you think we do? Well, since we're taking away, we're going to decrease uh, the total number of lemons we have, right? So we take away 1, we get to 3. Take away 2, get to 2. Take away 3. We took away 3, right? So we'll go back 1, 2, 3 along the number line, and we'll end up at 1. And that's this one right here. So just to review, addition is you're doing more of something. Subtraction is you are taking away. If you think about it on the number line, addition is 
increasing along the number line by that amount. So in this case, we increased along the number line by 3. And so we went from 4 to 7. In the subtraction case, we decrease back on the number line. So we decrease by the amount that you're subtracting. So in this case, we decreased by 3. So we went back 1, 2, 3, and we had 1. And the other way to view it, if I have 4 or something, if I give 3 away, or if I ate 3 of them, or if I, I don't know what I did to 3 of them, if I lost 3 of them, I would have 1 left. Now let me show you some interesting things about subtraction. So we know that 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Let me show you something else that's interesting. What is 4 minus 1? Well, we could, we could do, we could use either example. Let's do the lemon example. If I had, let's do apples now. I'm bored of the lemons. Let's say I had 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. I have a new pen. Sometimes it doesn't draw right. Let's say I had four apples, right? This is the example we're dealing with. And I were to eat one of them. So one of them were to go away. How many apples would I have left? Well, three. One, two, three. So 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. And if we did it on the number line, if we started at 4, and we subtracted 1, we took 1 away, so we're going to become 1 smaller. We go back 1, we get 3. Either way works. But isn't this interesting? 4 minus 3 is equal to 1, and 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Uh, that, that you might say, well, is, is this, you know, did I pick the numbers just so it worked? Well, it turns out that it's always true. 4, if some, well, I don't want to get too technical, but this is we're already touching on, on stuff, something that you'll learn later on, maybe in algebra one day. But actually, I don't want to go into that right now. So where does this come from? Well, this is also based on the fact that 3 plus 1, I didn't want to confuse you, so I apologize if I did. But I'll show you another interesting thing. What is 3 plus 1? 3 plus 1 is equal to what? Well, that's easy. You know that from basic addition. You can start on the number line at 3 and add 1 to it. And where do you end up? You end up at 4. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Or you could have started at 1 on the number line and added 3. 1, 2, 3. And you would have also ended up at 4, right? So. We also know that you could have switched this either way. Both of those are equal to 4. What do you see here? Well, there's a, there's a bunch of things I've written here, and, and they all kind of relate to each other. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. Essentially, 4 minus 1 and getting 3 is the exact same. You're, you're saying the same thing as 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. right? This statement says, if I add 1 to 3, I get 4. This is saying, if I take away 1 from 4, I get 3. So if I start at 4 and move back, I get 3. This is saying, if I start at 3 and I move up 1, I get 4. Hopefully, that gives you a little bit of intuition about what subtraction is. In the next video, I'll just do as many s basic subtraction problems I can do in 10 minutes. And, and then you'll be ready to do the exercises. See you soon.